In this video, I'm going to show you a simple way to make sure that your winch rope stays on your winch drum. Here at Mad Matt 4 Drive, I'm all about educating and building the four-wheel drive community so we can wheel well. I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell so you can get those notifications. So, there's a device that's put out by a company called Red Winch. They make fantastic competition winches and they call it the Plasma Lock and it is the simplest tool around. It is so, so easy. Now, they're not paying me to make this video or anything like that. This is purely a, a mate of mine in the UK who runs this Facebook page, Off-Road four and 4x4 four Recovery Group. Nick Jennings, he sent these to me and said, Matt, I'd love you to do a video on them because he reckons they're just the coolest thing. I've never actually used one before, but I'm going to show you how to fit one up to a winch and I'm going to be fitting them up to my Toyota Land Cruiser Bandera. So, if you're in Australia and want to get your hands on these, there's a company called Roadrunner Off-Road. Barry and Cam are mates of mine and they run, run uh, that company down in Melbourne. They're about 30 bucks. Again, I don't get any kickback or anything like that. They don't know, even know I've got these. Um, but they're the Red Winch dealers here in Australia and they stock these. So, all right, so what are we going to do? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we've got to work out where to position the plasma lock on the winch rope. So let me show you how we do that. So what we're going to be doing is getting eight wraps of rope around our drum. Now, the easiest way to do a f the first thing is to measure how much one wrap is, and I'll show you why that's important. So I do that, I've, that's one wrap, hold that part of the rope. Now I'll just say at this point, for some of you, it's probably easier to pull the winch out of the vehicle to do this because you know it's so closed and tight. But anyway, you'll work that out Unfortunately, I don't have to. <laughs> so that's how much rope I need for one wrap on the drum. Now to use the plasma lock, I'm gonna need about eight to 10 wraps. For, I've already done a test and I needed eight. So the way I'm gonna measure that out, that's one, that's two, two times two gives me four, double the four is gonna give me my eight. Okay, so, that's, that's my eight point. Now what I'm going to do, holding that, I'm just going to feed the plasma lock onto there. So see how the plasma lock's got a loop here and then a loop at the other end. Doesn't matter which loop you take, just feed the rope through there. Okay, I've got my point marked here and put the plasma lock there, all right? So now it's time to put this onto the winch drum. I'll just drag that ultra hook up along the concrete because that'll treat it real good. All right, so now we get down to the business end. So come over closer to the winch. What we're gonna do now is feed the rope through the horse, or your fair lead, and up over the top of the drum and pull it all the way through. Sorry it's hard to see, you can imagine filming this on the vehicle is blooming difficult, but it's more realistic because this is how it's going to be for you guys. Um, okay, now I'm going to do a little hack which I haven't seen anybody else do. So I hope Neil Jones from Red Winch goes, wow Matt, that's amazing. I'll just get a cable tie now and I'm just going to use it to lock the cable plasma lock in place temporarily. I'll cut the cable tie off at the end of the process. Okay, I'll bring it to the top, and this is purely so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so see I've used that cable tie and I've nipped that up nice and tight there. Now I'm gonna slide this back down to the bottom of the drum because that's actually where it needs to be for this next process. Okay, so now what I gotta do is Feed the tail of the rope onto the, onto the drum to come this direction here. So what I've got, I've got the winch controller in my hand over here. Now I'm going to just use the winch out procedure. And you don't need to put this on tight at this stage. That'll all come later. But I'm just getting that plasma lock positioned. Yeah, don't worry about this side of the rope. We can deal with that later.
Okay, now here we go. So now we've got to we've got the plasma lock loaded. Now I'm taking the tail of the the winch rope and I'm just going to feed it through that last loop in the plasma lock. Don't worry about it all coming loose. I don't know how well you can see that on camera. Sorry guys. It's jolly difficult all of this, but okay, so see I've come through the loop. Now I'll just lay my rope there. Okay, now I'm just going to wiggle because it's not too tight, see? And that's why but not being tight is fine. Okay, I'm just going to position all of these rope lays so they're nice and neat. And then I'm going to get my side cutters. I'm going to take that cable tie off. You could probably leave the cable tie in there, but no need. So that's out. Okay, now just going to run the winch uh, in. And this is just to get rid of this extra rope here that's on the wrong way. Okay, now, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so now I'll final position the, the whole setup. Okay, now, all right, now, there we go. So now we're just about there. I'm gonna get that nice and tight. Once I put proper load on this, it'll lock down really well. Okay, you can see that starting to tighten up. Okay, I'll bring that plasma lock to the top just to show you. So you can see now how that plasma lock is going to be, is bound in underneath these lays of the rope. Therefore, we can't have our cable come adrift. Now I'm just gonna fiddle around and position that exactly how I want it. But essentially now that rope cannot come off the winch drum. Even if I had this hooked up and I was backing against it and got to the end of the rope, your rope's not going to come adrift and that's what you want and that's where the plasma lock comes into play. So it's a really simple device. I think they're $30 here in Australia at uh, Road Runner Off-Road. They're effective and um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm putting it on the Bundera anyway. So, and like I said before, go and uh, check out Nick's page. Um, off-road and 4x4 recovery group on Facebook. Um, we'll put all of the links down below and everything. And if you're watching this elsewhere in the world, um, just Google Red Winches. You can get these plasma locks on their website. And um, yeah. All right, guys, look, I'm going to spool this back on now. And, um, and then, well, it's starting to rain, so I'm probably going to go inside. I'm Mad Matt. Stay safe on the trails.